although there are plenty of web graphics that allow you to expand infinitely without quality loss, photos aren't that. When you zoom into a photo, the thousands of pixels that make up the photo are enlarged. This makes them more visible, resulting in a pixelated image that becomes grainy and blurry. If you're looking to avoid these, as well as some other common issues like distortion, you've come to the right guide. To avoid visible distortion and quality loss when zooming in, try not to enlarge your photo to your desired size right away. It's better to enlarge it gradually until you're satisfied with your size, so you could safely stop when you notice the distortion. Another thing to keep in mind is to never go above around 300% zoom, because anything beyond that will absolutely cause significant distortion. For mild distortion problems, sharpening your image can help repair the damage, but remember that adjusting this property alone won't work wonders. When it comes to free tools for resizing images, Airfin View is one of our favorites. This tool is perfect for everyday users since it's compact, has a simple and straightforward interface, and most importantly, offers excellent interpolation. This image scaling algorithm is considered a very high quality resampler and is superior in most cases to just standard upsizing. It's optimal for upscaling as it provides anti-aliasing with minimal blur, hence smoothing and enlarging images without breakage. To enlarge a photo using Airfin View, click on File in the toolbar and select Open. Navigate to the image you want to enlarge, select it, then click the Open icon. Now, click on Image in the toolbar to select Resize slash Resample. In that window, you get to choose between three ways to resize your image, manually entering your desired dimensions, entering the percentage value of how much you want to enlarge, or selecting one of the given standard dimensions. Which way to go largely depends on your needs. For example, if you require a specific height or width, you should go with the manual method. When using this method, make sure to check the preserve aspect ratio box. This locks your photos width and height together, meaning that when you adjust either of them, the other will automatically change to match it, so its enlarged photo remains the same proportions and doesn't end up looking squashed or stretched. Next, in the size method box, select resample, better quality, use filter, then select length zones slowest from the drop-down menu to ensure that you get the best quality possible. Once you're done tweaking the settings, hit the OK button. When you're satisfied with the result, save the photo by clicking on File, followed by Save As. Name the file, select your desired file format, and finally, hit Save. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering photography and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.